Okay. Welcome, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about 23andMe's new IVD DNA kit. This is a joint venture that they are putting on with the folks at Pfizer Pharmaceuticals. And it's open to everybody in the IVD community. If you have Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, which are the main diseases under the inflammatory bowel disease flag, umbrella, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, if you have one of these qualifying diseases, you can sign up for the free DNA kit. What makes this DNA kit unique compared to 23andMe's uh, other DNA kit is the fact that they are providing you their service for free because you're also providing your own service which would be providing your DNA essentially to researchers who are trying to identify the genetics involved with inflammatory bowel diseases. I believe the statistic is somewhere around 160 different genes have been identified as associated with both Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. The more DNA that researchers have to narrow down, it makes it so that they can try and figure out which ones correlate to either making you at a higher risk to developing the disease, having which would be a predisposition, or the fact that you may already have the disease, or who knows? The possibilities right now are endless. So I believe their goal is to get 10,000 uh, IBD patients to submit their DNA, and as a result, you will also get the 23andMe's uh, genetic profiling, which also will let you know some of your lineage, as far as like where your ancestors came from and possibly some other diseases that you could be at a higher risk of developing or just happen to run in your bloodline. Then there are associated companies who for a small fee, I think as low as five and ten dollars, will actually go through this information that 23andMe gives you and they'll dig a little bit deeper and explain more into it. But for right now we're going to focus on 23andMe's uh, IBD kit. Now, if you're a parent of a child with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or even Crohn's colitis, you can sign up on behalf of your child. There's going to be a brief survey and that basically will be your qualifier if you're a patient, if you're a parent of a patient or even a caregiver of a patient trying to sign them up. I do know of some parents who are getting answers back saying that they don't qualify. You may have to call, I think, the uh, 800 number to let them know or even email them if there's an issue. And let me pull up the email address for you guys. If you have questions, you can go directly to the website at www23, spelled 23, and me.com forward slash IBD. And if you have uh, an email that you want to send directly to them, their email address is ibd-help at 23andme.com. So that's how you can get in contact them with them if you have any questions. And let's get down to business. So after you have signed up online for this miraculous little kit, you can go ahead and fill out I think it's a couple of surveys. They'll give you more surveys. You can keep filling out all these surveys to your heart's content. I, I believe this is more fun for us than anything. I'm not sure exactly what they're getting out of it, but, you know, if you need to kill some time, why not? Okay, so when your kit finally arrives, it's going to look something like this. Sorry, I know I have a lot of lights going on right now. Uh, let me find a dark space. Ah! There's my dark space. Okay, so this is what the kit's going to look like. It's going to come in a sealed plastic bag, and you'll see your shipping information on there. And I believe there's also going to be a packing slip for you to send this back to the folks at 23andMe. So once you open it up, ta-da, there's going to 
going to be information inside and it's going to unfold. So this is the most important thing ever. Do not throw this away. It's not like a crafty little bumper sticker. It's a fold out. On the other side of this is the information that I'm about to read to you. The reason that this is so important is for the following reasons. You cannot <clears throat> drink, smoke, or brush teeth 30 minutes before spitting. Yes, you are going to have to spit. And the funny thing is, which you really can't see, but I'll probably try to insult, insert the picture in there. The first step is they tell you that you're going to provide your saliva sample. Awesome, right? Who doesn't want to spit for fun? Okay, so they're going to tell you to, step one, provide your saliva sample. Spit into the tube provided. Remember to fill to the top fill line. You know, just in case you didn't know what the line was, it's the fill line. However, bubbles above the line are fine. How much freaking saliva are we actually submitting? Okay, the next part of step one, they're telling you follow directions. Yes, people, read the directions. Read them to the point where you know them verbatim, because if you're like me, you will ultimately flub it, which means do not brush your teeth, do not eat, do not drink, do not do anything that would put anything inside of your mouth that could alter your DNA at all. Glad we got that out of the way. Now, part of step one, this is kind of funny, they don't want you to worry because shipping is free. Just so we know that. Okay. That's the basic gist. You get this little cup, you're going to spit in it. And so one of the things that I've heard people complain about is, how am I supposed to get saliva going if I can't have anything in my mouth for 30 minutes? Exhibit A. I need to find a dark space again. Okay, these are lemon heads from Archer Farms, which is Target's candy brand. Well, Archer Farms is Target's brand, and this happens to be their lemon heads. Um, sour candies are a great way to help produce saliva. Obviously, we can't put them in our mouth, so the idea is going to be to look at it, make yourself salivate, get those juices going. I, these are words I never thought I would say on camera ever. I'm sorry, Mom. Okay, so once you've got those juices going, you're going to go into your 23andMe kit. And inside of this little plastic thingamabobber is, you can kind of almost see it. Yeah, there's the plastic too. And it's kind of intimidating because you got to fill a lot of saliva. Obviously, this could take a little while, so just start watching things that are going to make you salivate. If it's going to be a steak commercial, go for it. There's YouTube. If it's going to be salty things, I don't know why, but hell, put on the Food Network or a cooking video or grab some candy and sniff it. <laughs> Whatever you got to do to get those juices flowing, just start spitting. And um, that's about it. So once you've collected this, there's also going to be steps inside of your handy dandy little box that will explain how you can ship back to 23andMe. And that is really it. It's not as intimidating as it sounds. Really the most important thing is going to be not eating, not drinking, not brushing your teeth, not putting anything in your mouth. I'm going to keep saying this because don't be Jamie. Don't do a Jamie. That being said... Um, I know some other people have had some concerns with the anonymity of their results. No, we're not going into a national database with uh, the CDC or the World Health Organization, and nobody really gives a flying hoot that we have Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or anything else that fits under the IBD umbrella. The fact of the matter is, is that we don't have a cure. Inflammatory bowel disease is not the same as irritable bowel syndrome, although plenty of people would like to say that it is. It's not. This is a disease without a cure, and many of us are on very harsh medications, myself included, and we need all the help we can get. We need 10,000 people. 
be one of the 10,000. Help your fellow patients out. Thank you.